Due to its large size, the Spinosaurus is one of the dinosaurs that have been most studied by paleontologists. Its physical characteristics made the scientists suppose that the colossal animal could be a great fighter and a terrible enemy for other dinosaurs. However, after more careful analysis of these characteristics, they realized that these characteristics could not have helped in a fight. In fact, many hypotheses indicate that the Spinosaurus fed on fish and even carrion, but was not designed to hunt large prey. The Spinosaurus, whose remains have been located in Morocco, Niger, Tunisia, and Egypt, live in the Cretaceous period of the prehistoric era. It weighed between 4 and 5 tons and ranged in size from 39 to 49 feet in length, although it is believed that some were as tall as 59 feet. Its most striking feature was its dorsal fin, thanks to which it reached a height of up to 13 feet. But despite this enormous size, as we already mentioned, the Spinosaurus was not designed for fighting. Let's see why. Its legs were small. After analyzing the remains of a specimen found in Morocco, it was determined that the hind legs of this dinosaur were small. Because of that, it was impossible for it to make long runs to pursue its enemies or prey. However, these legs allowed it to bear its heavy weight while it was on the ground and to swim perfectly. The latter because they had a completely solid bone, so it used them as oars to push itself into the water. Dorsal fin, not very useful. These dinosaurs' large dorsal fin could reach 3 feet in height and gave it a terrifying appearance. The hypothesis of the scientists is that the Spinosaurus used it mostly for swimming and thanks to this, it controlled the direction in the water and was more hydrodynamic. It is also believed that it used it to control temperature, but it didn't help it catch its prey. In fact, it could become a weak point if it was hit by an enemy bite. Teeth made to eat fish Seeing the enormous size of this dinosaur, it was to be expected that its teeth were hard, curved, and strong, just like those of other carnivorous species, for example, the Tyrannosaurus. But this is not the case. On the contrary, these were conical, narrow, and sharp. These characteristics were specific to fish species. It means that the teeth of the Spinosaurus were not designed to take large bites. With all the characteristics and weaknesses described above, it is to be expected that many animals could easily defeat the Spinosaurus. Here are some examples of this. Number 3. Tyrannosaurus Rex this dinosaur is considered one of the most dangerous, strong, and deadly dinosaurs that inhabited the Earth. If it had confronted the Spinosaurus, it would have been easy to defeat it, thanks to the strength of its bite. This was over 13,400 newtons, one of the most powerful of prehistory. Although not the strongest, since there are other animals that overcame it, if you're interested in this topic, you can see my video about the bite power of prehistoric animals the link, I will leave it in the description. Number 2. The Carcharodontosaurus Although smaller than the Spinosaurus, the Carcharodontosaurus had the skill and experience to defeat it in a fight. This is because it was accustomed to fighting creatures of similar size to the Spinosaurus. It was also considered a great hunter. In addition, the Carcharodontosaurus had a powerful bite in its favor and a great strength, so the large size of the Spinosaurus did not intimidate it. The struggle between the two species could have been fought mainly for the domination of the territory. Number 1. The Allosaurus This dinosaur weighed about 1 ton. It was famous for being very fierce and was clearly a carnivore. It had very strong limbs and powerful claws to haunch with ease. Thanks to the structure of its skull and body, combined with its small size, it had an agility and a speed that allowed it to hunt prey larger than itself, as well as to beat other species, including the Spinosaurus. It is believed to have lived and hunted in herds, but this theory has not been proven. Zero soon, the Gyanotosaurus. It was a carnivorous dinosaur, weighing between 4 and 15 tons, with a height of about 11 feet, smaller than the Spinosaurus but larger than the T-Rex. Although its head was small in relation to its body, it is considered a large predator. 
To defeat the Spinosaurus, this dinosaur could use its huge jawbone with flat, sharp teeth measuring up to 12 inches in length. It is important to mention that despite everything said in this video, these are just assumptions. This is because the dinosaurs presented here lived in different times than the Spinosaurus. Only the Carcharodontosaurus inhabited the same period, but it is unlikely that a struggle would arise between them. This is because the Spinosaurus was mostly a meaning that it spent most of its time in the water.